Hey everyone, this is My SharePoint Questions and I am Andrew Hess. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Microsoft Power Platform Conference and why you should join next year. I just wanted to say it was a really great experience. This was the first ever Microsoft Power Platform Conference. I want to tell you what it was like, um, what I enjoyed, and you know what to look forward to next year. And yeah, this is all not going to be positive. I want to you know give a fair critique. I'm going to tell you some negative side of things, things that I did not like. But in the end, I think I really love the Power Platform Conference and I can't wait to go again. Another thing is I'm thinking of rebranding myself. Um, my name is My SharePoint Questions. I've kind of, that's how I got introduced to the Power Platform. I started with um, SharePoint. Well, honestly, I started with Microsoft Project. I worked my way through SharePoint, Power BI, SQL. Then I ended up in the Power Platform and that's where I am today. So let me know in the comments, should I rebrand myself to Andrew Hess instead of my SP questions? So the Power Platform Conference was from September 20th to the 22nd, but actually there were a few days, um, actually three days where you could sign up for extra workshops. And so I, I did two of those. During the Power Platform Conference, they went over Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, Power Virtual Agents, and, and you could decide which um, sessions you want to go to and learn about. So my first day actually was with Shane Young, and I learned about Dataverse for Teams. So I, I went to Shane Young's uh, Dataverse for Teams workshop. I, I met him. Uh, this, I think, was actually my favorite session. I learned a lot. Obviously, with Dataverse for Teams, uh, I work for the government, so when we use Dataverse for the Teams, we can kind of stay in that free license model. Obviously, as I talk to more people from Microsoft, they want to push me into the uh, the increasing price of you know Power Apps Premium and Power Automate Premium. But you know, but yeah, I'm not going to get into all that right now. I just think that you know uh, Microsoft's idea of managed environments is everything has to be in this premium capacity might be too much. Like you might have to rebuild your architecture of your environments just to work with manage environments. So we'll talk about that in a, in a later time. Um, but yeah, I think that was one thing that I, I thought that Microsoft maybe was not on the right path is everything being in premium capacity for their new managed environments. So the actual conference was actually at the Lowe's Pacific Resort. It was a hotel. I do think that Microsoft was not ready for the amount of people that were coming there. I, I do think actually the hotel was a little too small for this conference. I got, I got used to the Lowe's Pacific Hotel. It was a nice hotel, but what's going to be great is next year is they're going to hold this in Vegas. And I think we're going to have this at a real conference place. It's going to be more like Ignite. The power platform is going to grow. You know, as we have low code, no code, you know, we're going to have a much broader audience for the power platform. And so many people can come. So on the first day, uh, we were all gathering for the keynote. We were, you know, getting ready for the power platform conference. I'm sorry if my video is not completely still. I was holding a GoPro. So you can see everybody here is, is just gathering. We're getting ready for the keynote. Uh, a few of us got our bags already. Um, we got some of the swag that Microsoft gave us. So yeah, as I was saying... Um, you can see here, you know, join us next fall at the October 3rd, uh, 2023 workshops in Vegas. I think this is going to be awesome. We're going to have a lot more space and it's going to be uh, totally uh, amazing. I think I'm very excited for the next uh, Power Platform Conference. Microsoft has this idea uh, that's like fusion, I believe. You know, they believe that no code, low code and pro code all collide together. They can work together. And, and that's the idea of the power platform and so that makes a much broader audience than just pro code developers so I, I really think it's a good idea and they kind of hit on this during the keynote next was um the four new things that they were releasing and so let me move my face again so next was the four new things that they were releasing so the automation coe toolkit where you can measure roi like um sap connector um it's not my thing i know a lot of people use sap so uh, that you know, is probably pretty huge to the people using SAP. Now, co-authoring, this is something huge for me. I believe there are ideas for it to be like Excel or Word, so you can work in the same Power App at the same time, and you can see each other's you know mouse pointers. That right there, to me, is what I want. Now, cards, 
uh, cards. Uh, we'll get into it a little bit more, but it's, you know, I, th- I believe there's like cards and teams that you can display a certain amount of information. And it's just for rapid development of cards um, and either Power Automate, I guess, or for teams or Power Apps. Microsoft also talked about uh, SharePoint Syntax, which is like, you know, AI learning, machine teaching inside SharePoint. Uh, this is somewhere I need to learn. I don't know much about it, but it does sound really awesome. So AI inside SharePoint, you know, connects SharePoint syntax to the content inside and outside of Microsoft 365. So this is an area where I want to learn. Um, I don't know the pricing. I don't know much about it, but this was something that was also talked about during the conference. So your typical class would look like this. Um, I would say, yeah, they did run out of seatings for a lot of the classrooms, right? That's why when we go to Vegas, I believe that there's going to be much more space. So for some of the um, classes, you know, I was not able to get a good seat. But if you arrive there early, you can get a good seat. And um, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get most of the PowerPoints from all the demonstrations. So this was what your typical class would look like during the workshop. So in between classes, you could see here, they did have an expo area. And I'm pretty sure these are the people that funded the Power Platform Conference. I feel like it's going to grow uh, next year. But yeah, you could see all the different companies and you know what the, what they're bringing to the Power Platform. Um, so I did get in here before everyone else got in here. But during the middle of classes or sometimes at the end, there would be breaks. There would be like 45-minute breaks. And you could get in here. And this place was crowded. I mean, it was very crowded. And this is where we would get coffee sometimes also. So they would have coffee, drinks, refreshments, and food. And, and you can see here, you know, all the different companies that are supporting their products in the Power Platform. Now, now Power Apps 911, that is, you know, Shane Young's uh, company that he works at is uh, Power Apps 911. So, yeah, you can see his dog, Chewy, here. You know, they gave me a, um, let, me, let me go get it. Let me get it. So I did get a little Chewy figurine, right? I got a little Chewy figurine. There were some more things I got. I got a few hats, a few hats that they were giving out. There was more stuff that I missed out on. There was, like, some socks. Um, here's the uh, Power Platform bag. And then, of course, we, we had some shirts, um, some conference shirts. Let me see if I can get that in there. Yeah. So they were giving out shirts. You could get all these things. And, and so the, um, that's kind of where the Power Platform community is growing. And uh, Microsoft would push that word community. Uh, I do think they, the Power Platform community is huge. And so there was like this uh, little fad going on during the Power Platform conferences when someone said community people would you know scream and go whoop, whoop. so that did happen and it was pretty neat it was fun so then on wednesday if all that doesn't incentivize you we did ha go to universal um sponsored you know by microsoft power platform conference we all went to universal for drinks it was a fun time you could you know uh, drink or eat or you know there was a, there were some rides open and so we all had a fun time on Wednesday night at Universal. So um, th that's where pretty much, I, you know, I just met some people, talked. I didn't really take any video there. You know, I didn't want to carry my GoPro on the roller coasters or anything. But it was a fun, good time uh, late at night. But the only issue was is it made you tired for the next day. Like we were exhausted. Everybody was exhausted on Thursday, the last official day of the conference. So a typical meal, you know, you would go up in there, you grab your food, um, I think for this one, you know, we had some meat, chicken, vegetables, and a salad. This was a typical lunch that you would get. Um, it, it actually, it was healthy. It was good. I, I have no complaints about the meals. I, I thought it was, it was decent. So in the end, I think the best part about the Power Platform Conference was meeting the people. I, I did meet Matt Devaney. I, I encourage you to go visit his blog. If you're going to do Power Platform, visit Matt Devaney's blog. Visit... Um, Shane Young's YouTube, or even take his Power 911 uh, app courses. So the best thing about the conference was meeting the people and the classes. I do think the classes here were way better than Ignite. They were tailored to developers. They were tailored to people who create. It was not really all about like uh, the C-class people. So I, I do think the best part about this conference was the people and the classes. They were excellent. Uh, during the day after classes, you could go to Universal City Walk, which is the free part of Universal. I did that a few times. I ate dinner there. Um, 
So in the end, what I'm going to say is I'm going to go over what I've learned from the Power Platform Conference. I'm going to go over things like the cards, managed environments. Um, I'm going to teach you what I learned from Shane Young in my next videos. If you want to learn more about what I learned from the Power Platform Conference, um, please like, subscribe. I think my next video, I'm going to go into Dataverse for Teams. I did break Shane Young's, or at least I, I take responsibility for breaking his uh, virtual agent during his class. I, I asked him to loop it and it broke. So I'm going to, I think my next video, I'm going to go into the Dataverse for Teams. I, I really like that area. And um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching and, and please join the Power Platform community and join us next year in Vegas. I, I can't wait.